Sensei Shredder. This is what I was building on me. This is gonna be good! <laughs> you're a rhinoceros! And you're a... Huh. I'm a little piggy. Well, well. Hey, fellas! What's your name? Casey Jones. Hey. Are you two guys like a thing? So, how was it like returning for round two of Ninja Turtles? Well, you know what, it's good. The second time around, you have less to worry about in terms of what are the turtles going to look like. So that was a huge relief for us. Because I noticed they got some enhancements, so can you talk us through why it was important to have that? Well, we live in LA and everyone yeah. gets enhanced in LA, so we just, we soften their look a little bit and, uh, you know, we're always refining it. I mean, I think that that's part of the process, but also, you know, we also had a lot of other stuff to deal with with Bebop and Rocksteady and Krang, yeah. all those characters, it was, it was busy. So, in this film, who do you think stood out the most out of all the characters that were on screen? Is that a trick question? A little bit of a trick question. Well, I think who stood out the most might be Krang because it's the most unusual and that's never been realized in any real way. I mean, certainly Krang was the hardest character for us to, to make happen. I mean, that just, how do you bring a brain to life? I mean, what does that look like and how are you, do you pay tribute to what they did in the in the cartoon and at the same same time make it your own? So that was the biggest challenge, certainly. Um, so what made you return for the sequel? Uh, I wanted to... You know, we were given the opportunity to make another film and to kind of continue the story. And I was, I had so much fun making the first one. It was such a great experience. I, I was totally down. Awesome. Um, so how has the dynamic changed, do you think? Well, we have, we have new characters now. We have Stephen Amell coming in as, as Casey Jones, and he's fantastic. Do you find it a little bit kind of scary that someone else is coming into like a lead man role as well, and you were the leader in the first film? No, I think that... You know, it's good, it's important in order for us to have any sort of longevity, you have to always constantly be changing. And we needed to open it up, and I think it's really important. And Steven really understood the tone and came in and did such a great job. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy because it has kind of breathed new life into it. Um, you know, that's just, that's the reality. Well, I mean, you got the key to the city, so yeah, yeah. I think you're the winner. And I got the Victoria's Secret uh, supermodel girlfriend, so... You can't beat that. Either. That's kind of a trade-up. You play Casey Jones in the film, who is such a beloved character in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Did you feel there was a lot of pressure taking on his role? No, I, I mean, you think about it a little bit beforehand, and... I didn't have a lot of time after I wrapped season three of Arrow before I started Turtles. But then the, one of the first scenes that I shot, or the first major scene, was when Casey meets the Turtles for the first time. And, um, you know, everyone seemed to dig what I was doing and having a good time. So after that, all that pressure, all that stuff that you feel just kind of melts away. So who's your favorite Ninja Turtle and why? Michelangelo, you know, because he was my favorite as a kid. He's the, you know, he's the party dude. Yeah. He eats the most pizza. That's enough yeah. when you're a kid, pretty much, more or less. So. Who doesn't like pizza, right? Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you star alongside um, Will Arnett and Megan Fox in the film. Yeah. Did she teach you anything along the way with the CGI, how the turtles worked, with those little dots on their head no, and everything? She didn't teach me anything. She just told me to stop complaining when I was like, this is hard. How do I look up at the tennis balls above their head or the ping pong balls? And she was like, try looking at Optimus Prime. So finally, what can audiences expect when they view Ninja Turtles in Australian cinemas? You know, I just think that it's a really fun movie and that we leaned into the idea of making a Turtles movie, which yeah. is you have to focus on the bond between the four brothers you have to raise the stakes because it's a sequel, which we do with all the people that the Shredder recruits and the fact that I joined the fray on the side of the turtles. Yeah. Um, and you just have to have fun with it, man. Let's light him up. Go, go, go! This is such a good plan. Don't go getting soft on me now. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Ah! Is he coming in kind of fast? Ah! 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 Well, that went well. Ow! Sleep!